zone. These songs that I made in my bedroom and shit. Gonna we'll finally get a nigga leg room and whip. Yeah, cold world, make way for the chosen one. What is up, Sneak Geeks? It's your boy, Sneaker Life, back with another video. My favorite pickups of 2015. Happy New Year's. Uh, like I said, 2015 has been just a dope year. I can't wait what, to see what 2016 has to come, you know? In my 2014 video, I said, I hope to bump it up to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I did it. You know, it was amazing. That was my New Year's resolution, you know? Uh, another thing that I wanted to do was gain knowledge in a basketball aspect. I ended up quitting the basketball team, you know, um, to push in a different direction. And the knowledge has come with that. So, you know, really with 2016, I just want to blow this up, you know, join the movement. That's what it is. Uh, just, just a dope year, you know. So, today is my favorite sneaker pickups of 2015. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, let's get into this. Now, there's a lot of sneakers in this video. I don't know if it's my top 10. It's, it's just kind of no particular order. Just a bunch of shoes that were my favorite that I was lucky enough to pick up. So first off, I want to start with... This is actually a birthday gift from my boy, Hoover. Shout out to Hoover one time. I actually wear these all the time. This is like my most worn go-to. These are the Solar Soft uh, Slides. I think is what they call them. Uh, you can pick these up basically anywhere. It's nothing special, but this is my go-to. You my go-to. Told me everything about you. That's a bold move. I know that you're out here and there's things you gotta go through. Coming in second would have to be the What the Kobe's. This was a shoe that I've been chasing since it released. Was not fortunate enough to pick these up and the resale market was just crazy on them. This shoe is stupid loud, and I haven't even had the opportunity to wear them yet. You know, a lot of shoes that I have, I haven't even worn yet. It's because the weather is just snow, and I don't want to ruin my shoes. So they do say, wear your shoes, we wear our kicks, blah, blah, blah. I'll wear mine, I'll get around to it eventually, but until then, I'm going to stock up. But yeah, with the Kobe's, tough shoe, love it. One of the biggest things that I said last year is I wanted to extend to more shoes. You know, I didn't just want to be about Jordans, and you know, I... Kanye kind of gave me the ability to do that. You know, first and foremost, we have the Ultra Boost and all white. This shoe is extremely comfortable. Kind of gets wrecked as soon as you wear it, but this is definitely an amazing runner. And then I would have to say, moving on to the Asics, this, this colorway was just so tough. Like the Tiffany, the diamond on the back, I have the tips in the back, you can see them right here. But yeah, this colorway was just too hard to pass up and these Asics are just, so comfortable and so loud. Looks a little girly, but it stands out big time. Then, of course, the Adidas ZX Flux. Did get these, another loud sneaker in the sun. You know, just that whole reflective it has. I thought it was a dope shoe and I did pick it up on Clarence, so definitely sweet. Another one of my huge non-hype sneakers was the Air Max 95 sneaker boot. Um, if you haven't, if you can't tell, I have been wearing this a lot just because of how the weather has been and it has came in clutch, you know, like this shoe keeps my foot warm. It's straight, it's really comfortable and you know, you can go run in it. It's just dope, like straight up. Go to right here. You my go to. Tell me everything about you. That's a bold move. I know that you're out here and there's things you gotta go through. Now, a lot of you guys see I got the OVO, OVO, Hype Beast. October's very own. If you don't know, my birthday's on October 2nd. I'm definitely about the fall, my favorite time of the season. Shattered Backboards is straight October. I wore these a lot, had a bunch of flannels to match it. It's just an amazing shoe. You know, like the quality on it is just ridiculous. I don't know why Jordan Brand doesn't just do this with all the ones, but you know. If you can grab this shoe, I highly suggest it just because quality wise, Jordan Brand, I know you can make every shoe amazing quality. You proved it right here. Stop messing with me and give me all these. All right, guys, we're going to start getting to the little hype beast section. So let's go. The Just Dons. This was a huge pickup for me. I saw these on the Justin Bieber roast, to be honest, to be 100. I saw these on the Justin Bieber roast. David Peterson, I think, Pete Davidson, he was wearing these and I was like, yo, those are so tough. 
I had to get them. Ended up copping them for a steal on eBay. This shoe is crazy and I have to get the white ones. So if you pick up the white ones in the 13, hit your boy up ASAP Rocky. Of course, you already know. Why would I not have these? Ovio, shout out to my boy Gio one more time. Uh, another shoe that I just still fresh, you know. Uh, I doubled up on these, fortunately enough. So I'm going to be rocking these as soon as the sun starts shining. Ovio, all day. Can't wait to get every... I can't wait to be able to do a video specifically on my OVO merchandise. Back to the Jordan brand side of things. Nike Air on the back one time. Coming out 2016. And we got the 2012 model, I think. If I'm not right, make sure to leave a comment down below. I swear this is from 2012, maybe 2011. I can't really remember at this moment, but both shoes. I've been wearing these like crazy. I don't care if it's snowing out or not. I'm wearing these. The key to success right here. I want to be the best. LeBron James, I've been looking for this shoe for so long. The, the fact that I was able to get this for pretty much retail is a blessing at itself. Um, plan on wearing these when I go out to Tampa. I'll see you guys at the sneaker uh, convention out there. I'm definitely flying out to check out just to peep y'all. I mean, yeah, I'm just geeked for this video. I'm just talking and talking, but this was definitely one of my top shoes that I've been looking for. And this is definitely proof Perseverance and patience gets you a good deal. Oh yeah, now we're getting into it. The, the Yeezys Pure Platinums. Um, wow. Let me just say, one of those shoes that is slowly dying value-wise, but this is just a dope shoe. I mean, if you're a Kanye West fan, this is definitely a shoe you must have if you can get it for a steal. You know, this is really a hard shoe to find, but right now is probably the perfect time for you to find it because the value is dropping extremely. But Definitely still looking for the solar. So if you know anybody with a size 13 with a good deal, I'm not paying over $2,000. Get that out of your head now. You can find these for me. I appreciate you. Another one. The 750 gray Yeezy Boost was definitely one of those. This Adidas was 2015. Let's let's be real here. Kanye did jump over the jump man this year. Adidas did crazy sales, came out with dope shoes, extremely hyped, worth a lot of money. But I really enjoy this shoe, especially in the fall. A little bit of winter time, I have worn these, but you know, you can see the creases. We wear our shoes, right? Every once in a while, you know, when we can. Most recently, the 750 Black Yeezy Boost. Um, not much to say, I already did a video on this. Plan on doing a review on these, but tough, tough, tough. Let's just bring out the whole Yeezy collection, man. The Turtle Doves. Definitely an extremely comfortable shoe in the Pirate Blacks. I wasn't fortunate enough to get the other two, but I'm coming for y'all. And then let's go ahead and finish this off with my strangest pickups of the year. It was the Nike boots. Uh, I can't even remember the name of these, but you know, it was definitely, it was just a, a cool change up to the style. I actually went, I went hiking in these. Go check out my vlog channel to peep that. And you know, these are actually pretty dope. I really like how they did the whole free run on the soles. It's a really cool boot. And I mean cool as in like, it's not hot. And wait, never mind. But yeah, just one of those changes to my style and I really enjoyed it. But there you guys go. That is my favorite sneaker pickups of 2015. What a great year for sneakers. Let me know what your last cop of 2015 was and what you plan on getting in the future. Hey guys, I appreciate everyone that submitted what's on your list that only went up to Christmas time. Hope you guys enjoyed that feature. I hopefully can do more in the future. But anyway, this is your boy Sneaker Life. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Run it.